Have you ever wondered where stars come from, or where they go when they disappear from the night sky? From the smallest twinkling specks to the grandest of galaxies, the cosmos is a stage filled with celestial drama. Each star we see plays a part in this cosmic theater, living out a life cycle as fascinating as it is complex. Their births are fiery and brilliant, their lives are long and radiant, and their deaths are nothing short of spectacular. Today, we delve into the spectacular journey of stars from their fiery birth to their dramatic demise. Stars like us have a beginning. Their birth takes place in the cold, dark corners of space in regions we call nebulae. Nebulae are expansive clouds of dust, helium, hydrogen and other ionized gases. A celestial nursery if you will. Now within these nebulae, there are areas where the gases and dust are denser. These dense pockets under the relentless pull of their own gravity, start to collapse inward. As they collapse, they heat up, forming hot, dense cores. We call these cores, protostars. Now imagine the pressure building up in these protostars, the temperature rising with every passing moment. It's a pressure cooker scenario on a cosmic scale and something's got to give. That's when the magic happens, nuclear fusion. In the heart of the protostar, hydrogen atoms begin to collide, merging to form helium. This process of nuclear fusion releases an enormous amount of energy, causing the protostar to shine. The outward pressure from this energy counters the inward pull of gravity, creating a delicate balance. As the protostar continues to burn, it sheds its outer layers, revealing a hotter, brighter core. This process continues until the protostar has burned away enough of its material to stabilize and stop growing. And so, a star is born, ready to illuminate the cosmos with its radiant energy. With birth comes life, and for a star, life is a delicate balance. Just like a tightrope walker, a star spends its life in a constant tug of war between two forces. On one side, gravity, pulling everything inward, seeking to collapse the star. On the other side, the force of nuclear fusion pushing outward, resisting gravity's relentless pull. This balancing act defines the life of a star. When these forces are in equilibrium, a star shines bright in a phase we call the main sequence. Take our sun, for example. It's been maintaining this delicate balance for about 5 billion years and is expected to continue for approximately another 5 billion. Throughout their main sequence stars are remarkably stable, radiating energy and warmth into the cosmos, the life-giving light that allows planets like ours to thrive. But nothing lasts forever, not even the seemingly eternal twinkle of a star. The death of a star is a grand spectacle, a cosmic opera of destruction and creation. Our journey through the cosmos brings us to a poignant crossroads, the death of a star. This final act in a star's life is not a quiet exit, but a dramatic finale filled with explosive energy and cosmic recycling. As a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it swells into a red giant. This phase is a star's desperate final effort to keep its nuclear furnace burning. The star expands, its outer layers reaching far into space. Yet, this is but a prelude to the star's ultimate fate. When the red giant can no longer sustain itself, it sheds its outer layers, leaving behind a dense core. This core, a white dwarf, is the star's glowing remnant, a testament to its once vibrant life. It's incredibly dense. Imagine the mass of the sun squeezed into the size of the earth. The white dwarf cools over billions of years, slowly fading into obscurity, a whisper of its former glory. For stars much larger than our sun, the finale is even more dramatic. These behemoths don't go gently into that good night, they go out with a bang, in a supernova explosion. This cataclysmic event can outshine entire galaxies and radiate more energy than our sun will in its entire lifetime. The remnants of this explosion can then collapse under their own gravity, forming a black hole, a point in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. But even in death, a star contributes to the cosmic cycle of matter, the elements produced in a star's life and those synthesized in its death throes scatter across the cosmos. These elements, including carbon, nitrogen and oxygen, the building blocks of life, seed new stars, planets and potentially life forms. In death, a star sows the seeds of new life, continuing the cosmic dance of birth, life and death. The life of a star is a testament to the universe's cycle of creation and destruction. From their fiery birth and dense cosmic nurseries to their dramatic demise, stars are the universe's heartbeat, pulsating with energy and matter. This ceaseless process of birth, life and death not only paints the tapestry of the night sky, but also fuels the evolution of the universe. So the next time you gaze at the night sky remember, you're not just looking at stars, 
you're witnessing the grand cosmic cycle of life itself.